Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and well out there and had a good weekend. And if you were celebrating Mother's Day, I hope you had a nice day. I know how difficult it is now. Our Mother's Day in the UK is in March. So of course nobody could see their children. So, it, you know, it's just the situation we're in. But we're all staying positive and hoping for the best, aren't we? I've got my gorgeous Beatrix with me today and I'm going to change her today for you. She's just had her bottle and she's had some tummy time. Get rid of that colic, bless her heart. And I'm going to take her out of this lovely knitted outfit and pop her into a little ballerina dress. It's a little pale pink one with little sleeves, little short sleeves little bit of frill around the collar and the sleeves. It's got a pair of ballerina shoes on there. And it's got three little layers of chawl. And it's like a onesie, really. Very pretty. It's got a little button, a, a popper at the top with a little heart. It's white and it's got a heart on it. And just to go with that, some little white socks with a big deep frill with white lace with pink hearts on it. I thought that would look all nice together. So we'll do that and I want to have a little chat with you, tell you what's been going on with me. So let's just move your doo-doo out of the way, sweetheart, and your bottle. Come on, baby girl. Oh, oh, baby girl. Hello, darling. <laughs> She is so adorable. So, so, so adorable. Love this girl. She, of course, is the Love Bug Sculpt by Sylvia Manning. And she's a full-bodied silicone baby girl and has my heart, this little one. Absolutely has my heart. <laughs> Let's just see if you're seeing her. There she is. Let's just come in a bit more for you so you can see her. I've had her for over two years now, bless her. She's still doing absolutely beautiful. She was reborn by my friend Alexandra Taylor Hughes, of course. And she hasn't lost a single hair. She's absolutely brilliant. Love her. So let's take a little jumper off. Yeah, I keep saying to you all, I've been really, really busy, and I am really busy. I've been really busy again today, and I said I'd explain about that. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Well, that's because for the last five to six weeks, we have been buying and selling homes. Yes, in a pandemic, we decided it was time to move. And the reason we decided that was because when I was so ill recently, and ever since then, I've been having trouble getting up and down the stairs and my husband's the same. We decided it was time for us to get a bungalow. So we had a family meeting, because as you know, Conrad lives with us. So we had a family meeting and we decided, yes, it's getting very busy round here and we wanted to go somewhere quieter and hopefully get a bungalow. Well, we found a bungalow straight away, one that we absolutely loved in a little village only three miles from here. There we go, sweetheart. And we went to see it. It was very strange, actually, during COVID doing all this, but um, we went to see it and fell in love with it. It's only two years old and it's a lovely bungalow um, and lots of parking space and everything for us. And um, it's in a little quiet village, um, much quieter than where we are now. And we're on the edge of the village, so, you know, it's it's really lovely anyway. It's it's a lovely bungalow. A very nice lady who owns it. 
There we go, sweetheart. Let's pull this down for you. There we go. Oh, sweetheart, that looks so cute already. Yes, it does. And um, we did this. We went and saw the bungalow before we'd even put our house on the market. And we thought, well, we won't put our house on the market unless we find something. Because it's no good... Um, selling your place and then not being able to find anywhere so anyway we used the same estate agent which we thought was crafty we thought we use the same estate agent as the lady that's selling the bungalow that gives him a bit more of an incentive to get our house sold oh, look at that on her <laughs> isn't that so cute love it i love all the frills so nice and um, so we got the estate agent to come round. You know, we said we were really interested in the bungalow. In fact, we wanted to buy the bungalow. And um, so they came and valued our place and put it on the market. And we had people come to see it. And would you believe the very first person that came to see it bought it. We did have several other people come to see it as well. And that was all very surreal. I had to go and sit in the garden with the dog with my mask on. Because we couldn't be in the house when people were in the house. So we had to kind of do that. And the estate agent, everybody came in with masks on and nobody was allowed to touch anything you know what i mean so it was all very well done and everything and yeah we had several couples several couples come to see our house and all of them wanted to buy it every single one so <laughs> that was brilliant wasn't it so we sold our house within two days brush and brush her hair yeah sold it within two days and bought the bungalow and ever since then ever since then we've been decluttering because we've lived here for 14 years and as you can imagine we have got a lot of clutter in fact, when we looked through the attic, we had boxes for things that we no longer have. Um, absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing and that's why I've been so busy because I've had, <laughs> had people looking around my house and having to keep everything. I mean, a house is always tidy anyway, but having to keep everything really really tidy you know and um so yeah i mean we hope to move by the beginning of next month which of course means everything's going to be packed up and with the best will in the world i don't know if i'm going to be able to make videos I mean, I'm going to keep this little girl out. She's going to stay with me. Um, but most of the other babies will be packed away, as you can imagine. And they will be packed away for a while after we move into the bungalow. Because we've got to kind of rearrange everything. But if I keep her out, I will be able to do videos with her. So... I will still keep in touch with you all and I'll let you know when we're actually moving. But it, anybody in the UK can tell you, all of my friends out there in the UK, it's never definite when you're buying and selling in this country. Anything could happen. But we have got to the point of exchanging contracts and we're hoping, fingers crossed, that it all goes smoothly. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Keep those positive feelings coming towards me as well because we really want this bungalow. It's going to make a hell of a difference to me and my husband. And um, it's such a lovely place. Lovely big garden. 
I will miss my garden, I'll be honest, I will miss my garden. But I'll be able to look at all the videos I've taken and shown you, won't I? And the garden we're going to is three times the size and the people have not touched it, it's just grass. So I've got the opportunity to create a new garden. So that, that that's amazing, isn't it? I think I might try and find a little headband for her today. I don't usually put headbands on her. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. House moving, can you believe it? In a pandemic. <laughs> what am I like, ladies? What am I like? Oh, we got this really pretty little one, actually. Let's try this little pink one with a white and pink bow. Oh, look at that on her. Look at that on her. Oh, darling. Oh, you're so cute. Come here, baby. Oh, I have to cuddle her. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh. Mm. Oh, I love this little girl. <laughs> Love this little girl, she's so super cute. What are you doing with your skirt? So yeah, that's what's been going on and why I've been so busy and distracted a bit lately. It's because we are moving house and it's been quite surreal at times and we're still, as they say, in the process of doing everything. But I will keep you informed and as I say, I will keep making my videos. The best that I can but obviously not on moving day or the day before I shouldn't think but our big son is coming up to help us he's going to come and stay with us so that's going to be brilliant so I hope you've enjoyed seeing my gorgeous Beatrix today she's such a pleasure I love this baby so much I really do and um yeah listening to me chat and explain what's going on in my life have a good rest of your day Mwah. love you ladies and gentlemen